I'm drinking the Arabian Sea in six months of the year and six months you can say I'm drinking Bay of Bengal. In many a year, I have had a zero water bill and the BWSSB meter guy comes and says, meter kelsa marta illa, we need to replace it. <laughs> Urban areas around the world have been represented. So you're a net consumer of natural resources and a net polluter of natural resources. Mm -hmm. Can you turn it around? Can you become a fertilizer and water factory? You'll get 2,250 million liters from the Kaveri. It will make a pit stop in Bangalore for one day. You'll add 800 million liters from groundwater, mm. 3,050 million liters. All of this will become wastewater or used water. You can treat it and you can actually ship 3,050 million liters outside the city. Good soil, good water and good food are inextricably linked up. Mm. In a gated community, where there were 360 sites, every one of the sites would have drilled a bore well. They have to spend 4 lakh rupees for a bore well. 360 bore wells, the same glass with water, 360 straws getting into it. Imagine at 4 lakhs into 360, we are spending 14.4 crore rupees. How do you turn it around as a community? What you do is you say no individual bore wells permitted. We'll sink three bore wells, community bore wells, we'll share the water. Mm. But we say 360 recharge wells so that all of us put the water back into the glass. Brilliant. So not only does it make economic sense, it makes ecological sense, right? Both yes. work together. Yeah. Every city, we have four taps. We have one tap, which is the river far away. The second tap is rainwater. The third tap is groundwater. The fourth tap is used water. So, and how many of these four taps are activated as we speak? Chitra and me, we say, if by design, we had 40 square meter per person, you could harvest the water, rainwater, you could be water sufficient. You could harvest the sun, you could be energy sufficient. You could grow food, vegetables, basic nutrition sufficiency could come. You could be waste sufficient because both the toilet waste and the kitchen waste that you generate could be absorbed by the soil. The well is a communicator. So the well talks to us on a daily basis. When you go to the well, it tells you summer is coming. Now start using me less, right? Or this is a year of drought. You have to be really, really careful in the water. Or this is a year of plenty rainfall. I'm abundant, use me as much as possible. Yeah. The tap doesn't talk to us. Yeah. Also with the water is when we work with these kere mm. and the water comes back. The intangible benefit is when you see the women singing the harvest song of Paddy. There's continuity, culture and tradition also involved with water. If every child in school could learn one thing about water today, what would that be? Where does my water come from? Just if you know where my water comes from and if you then know where does it go, that will be in itself a lesson of respect.